Hello, welcome to Anthony's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury, and in this video, I'm going to try highlight and tell you the differences between the Casio PX770 and the Casio AP270. Similarly priced, and I'm going to pick you through the bits that might matter to you to make the right decision. That's what they sound like. This one came out a fair few years before this one. But they sound remarkably similar. That's because they're using the same technology, this AIR technology that Casio developed, and I like it. I've become accustomed to it in a lot of their other keyboards. This is the first time I've set of these, so I'm going to try to give you my honest opinion. Feeling-wise, this is supposedly got a tri-sensor action, and this only has two sensors in it. That's what I'm garnering from what they're talking about. Feel-wise, they both have synthetic ivory touch, so unlike some of the other videos I'm doing on these type of products that have smooth plastic keys, these have little striations in the plastic that give the illusion of a wooden key. And underneath the keys, they're using real hammers and it's graded, so that means we're heavier at the bottom, lighter at the top. Uh, imagine, you know, the bass strings on a piano are thick, so they need a heavier hammer to hit them. So they're heavier and they simulated it here. The, the top strings on the right, they're thinner, lighter hammer, and you get that feeling. Other discernible differences, let's just go straight into it. If you don't like me talking, uh, which is totally understandable, we go to the effort of putting in the chapters so you can skip ahead to the playing and things like that. So have a look in the bottom of the video. Big difference again, I'm stating the blooming obvious, is the form factor. We'll get straight to it. This one, much slimmer, much more modern in its aesthetic. I like, um, I think they missed a trick. Yamaha do one where it's flat. But again, if you're in a flat and you're limited for space, this is a smaller footprint this more traditional and uh, in terms of the colors that you can get on these you can get this one in black and white and this one you can get this black white or brown if you want to i'm going to play you through some of the other sounds that are in here uh, let's go to the ap270 and i'll try to think of some more differences as i'm going along instead of a dedicated sound button what i quite like is you've got the name of the patches here and you hit function and you select it so i'm going to go for mellow Let's do that one. Let's see what mellow sounds like on this bad boy, just to see the differences. Function, mellow. Thank you. 
starting to feel the differences in the action. I can hear the little bit of evolution that's gone into this. If action really matters to you, this might be the one. But hey, cup to knock that down a peg, not everything's so simple, is the pedals down here. We've got the traditional three pedals. So damper, sostenuto, and the soft pedal. But they feel a little bit impish and not as premium as these. This is definitely more of a bit of furniture. It commands a bit more space. I dig it. Let's do an electric piano and hear that function electric piano. And we'll go for. Piano two. Going to flick over here. Getting the feeling that there, if I go function and EP2, let's have a listen to this. Very similar. I'm just looking for any differences in here. Yeah, 60s piano seem very much sonically the same. So I'll flick through the pianos because I know most of you will be going for those. Concert, and I'll try to play the same thing. Mellow. And bright. Both share the same speaker systems. Two 8 watt speakers in there. Both have two headphone outputs. Both can connect to their Cordana app, which I've done other videos on. It's actually really cool. It's got some interesting technology in there. This doesn't have any Bluetooth or wireless gubbins, so you're gonna to have to use a cable to hook it up, but these are in situ. This also comes with a music rest, and forgive us if some of these look a little bit battle-worn, that's because they've been in the main showroom. And uh, we've got all the kids coming in on a Sunday, hammering away on these. I'm going to do one last feature called concert play that they both share, which if you are a pianist that wants to play some classic, classical numbers and you want to play it with an orchestra, this is a pretty niche thing, but the recordings alone are beautiful. Essentially they recorded a symphonic orchestra and you can play along to them. I'm not sure what the songs are, but there's 10 in each. I just like the sound of it. It kind of shows off the speaker system as well. So we go function, concert, play, let's listen. I remember when I was just a young child, first day of evidence. All my hopes and dreams ahead of me, extinguished by life. Anyway, that's the concert play feature on these two. If you want to know any more, please check the descriptions below and look for any bundle deals. Stuart is really great at pairing these with the things that you probably want to buy already. So like a stool, headphones and such and come into the store. All is open now and you can see these in situ, feel them for yourselves and get an idea of it. We're in Guildford in Surrey. If you're in another country, you might even be able to fly here now. You never know, the world's opening up. I'm gonna play us out with something dodgy. Thanks Oz for manning the cameras. Um, we're in an ad hoc surrounding, so hopefully, if you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. I can learn from the hate. I'm not scared of it. So I'm gonna play you out on this one. We're gonna go for Grand Piano 2. And I'm gonna play something a bit 